Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Well, welcome to Real Therapy Fishing. Um, today we're going to be pike fishing um, on the River Cataway, well, the River Stour, it's at Cataway. Um, we've got our little 10 foot glass fibre dinghy with us that we've uh, been out in the sea a couple of times. But um, we're going to use that today and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll. Uh, catch a few pike I don't know how uh, the river is sitting at the moment sort of clarity wise but we'll have a little look and uh, we'll get down there get the rod set up get the boat all sorted and um, yeah we'll see how we get on So we're using a, a selection of lures today. Um, as you can see, this is just a few of the ones we've got. This one here has been well attacked and um, that was the one that Dylan caught that, this lovely great big pike on. Today I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try and use this little one here. It's been attacked a few times, got a few little tears in it, but it's still usable. It's got a good little weight on it. And I'm also gonna try I like a little baby pike. Um, we're going to try some different lures, see what we can get hold of, see what we can catch, if we can catch anything at all. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on. So the plan is we're going to go from Catawade, where we are now. Uh, as you can see, it's the picnic site. We've just launched the boat. Um, and we're going to head up to Flatford, Flatford Mill. Um, and just basically troll with the the rods on the way up there. So we've got the rod holders there, all set, ready to go. Different lures on each one, just to see what we, you know, the, well, I just mentioned the clarity of the water, we're not too sure. So we're just gonna head off up there and um, yeah, we'll just troll along behind the behind the boat and we'll, we'll see how we get on. Fish. Literally just, well I've only just set off and we've got one already, so Dylan's just going to put it in, oh nice, jackpot. yeah nice little jack there coming, coming in. in, very nice, oh he went got for the, the savage gear, yeah savage gear lure that one. Oh, nice, couple of pounds you reckon, yeah, yeah, oh. That sun's a bit bright, isn't it? But... Yeah, look at that. Yeah, lovely. First hey. fish of the day. Yep, Christmas Hopefully pike. Hopefully many more. <laughs> look at that. Look. Beautiful. Got lovely markings. He's a lovely fish, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, very nice. I'm going to let him go now. Okay. These lip grippers, they're wicked for pike. They're good, aren't they? Yeah, has he recovered? There you go. Keep He's away, yep. Seems down there. Lovely. Nice one. First fish of the day. Come on. Well, that was certainly a nice fish to start the day. Hopefully, there'll be uh, plenty more. The river's uh, it's quite high, actually. There's a lot of water in here. Normally, it's it's quite sort of shallow in places to get by, but it does seem to be um, nice and deep. It's uh, what do you reckon, Dylan? About six foot, sort yeah, of in most places. That, yeah. yeah, it's about, about sort of six foot. And these reedy conditions, they, they make, they're perfect conditions for pike, aren't they? Oh yeah, they they're really are. Love it here. Yeah, I love it here. See.
one of the great things about having a uh, electric outboard is it's dead quiet for when you're pike fishing and uh, also it's environmentally friendly as well so uh, yeah I, w I would recommend getting yourself a little electric outboard runs off of a small battery I don't know if you can see that down there it runs off of a small battery down there you just clip it on and uh, go yeah it's got a light feature up there tells you how long you got left in your battery and that they're fairly cheap as well so uh, yeah would recommend So we're just going to troll back over the area that Dylan had that nice pike just now. We've just come back down the river and because sometimes you might get a couple in the same area. They come in twos, don't they? They do, they seem to, don't they, here especially, but and this is a really good stretch along here. Um, where the reeds are really quite tall. There seem to be quite a few pike sort of milling around, so we'll keep the camera rolling on this bit here and uh, See if we can't grab another one before we head round that other corner. We've got to come back this way anyway, so might be a case of um, having another crack on the way through. If not, but there's quite a little bit. There's quite a bit of debris in the water actually on here, but we shall see. Okay, I'm going to talk you through a little bit about uh, the boat and a little bit about what we're using. So uh, we've got, I think it's about 20 pound mainline braid. We've got a, I think it's about 40 pound wire trace. And then a clip. And then our lure, a lure of choice. And this is good having these clips you can just unclip it like that and change out your lure. Also on the boat we've got a Garmin fish finder. We, we often use this for uh, roach fishing or if, or if sometimes we have done in the summer take, taking this boat out um, for uh, form back ray fishing, uh, yeah just general sea fishing but um, uh, if you can see on there, we're, we're parked up near the bank, so we're at two foot of water here. But yeah, this is another this is another great uh, thing to have on your boat. You don't really need it for pike fishing, but as I say, roach fishing and all the other sorts of fishing, this is a great thing to have. Well, that was a good, good one right in the corner there. Trying to keep it as close to the reed beds as possible. In the hope that one of them will be So Dylan's in again. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Eh? Is it? Let's reel that one in so we don't have to have any problems. You're right there, yeah? Okay. Let's see if we can get some footage over there. Oh, it's a fair size one, that one, isn't it? Oh, here he is, yeah. 
He's coming in now. I had a funny feeling we were going to get one coming up here, didn't I? I just said to you, didn't I? That, uh, oh yeah, look at him. Yeah, so maybe I might change my lures then to a bit more of a brighter colour. But saying that, mine are orange as well, aren't they? So it's just the luck of Dylan, I think this is. He's, um, he always seems to catch. They are brilliant, them grips, aren't they? Yeah, they really are good. Another nice jack. Yeah, he's a nice one. He looks good. He's got a bit of marking on him yeah. there where he's been a, bit of a go. Yeah. But another nice fish. Yeah, so you're gonna uh, put him back. Yeah. Lovely. I had a funny feeling we were gonna catch something coming up here because it's uh, it's really quite calm. He's uh, yeah. Is he? There he goes. There he goes. Yeah. Lovely. It's a, <laughs> it's Lovely. two nil. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't go on. <laughs> We're on our way back now, just uh, trolling along. We just come across a guy um, from the environmental agency and he said that um, back in the summer the, there was a lot of fish that actually died and sort of on the top of the surface due to the water not being oxygenated enough apparently. I don't know what, you know if that's true, but we've had a couple of pike today. Um, it's, it's been okay, it's not, we've not caught anything big couple of little jack pike as you've seen but um, we've still got a fair way to go back so a bit of luck on the way we might hook into something else um, there's quite a lot of canoers or canoeists about as well today so we've had to do quite a bit of dodging around them and uh, everything else so yeah Okay guys, uh, finished fishing now, boat's back on the trailer, uh, just ready to get it prepped and to go home, and uh, yeah, had a good had a good fishing session, had two pike in total? Yeah, two pike, yeah. Yeah, two pike in total, only a little small jack pike, but hey, a fish is a fish. So, uh, bye from us. From us both, have a great Christmas. Yeah. Hopefully 2021 will be a better year for us all. Yeah. And uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, on our next video. See you soon. See you soon.